Hey everyone, Neil here. After a bit of a hiatus. A bit? A lot. A lot of hiatus. A great big long one. I'm going to do a season two. We learned a lot um, in the 172 episodes about how to build Minecraft mods. And what I want to do is I actually want to start fresh with 1.7.10 and I want to spend some time kind of incorporating uh, this new stuff into our mod from the ground up. Uh, <coughs> things like uh, meta blocks, metadata, stuff like that. Um, we're going to do some some heavy duty Java stuff. I wouldn't, well I wouldn't really say it's heavy duty but you're going to need to know Java to really um, kind of keep up with this. So, if you haven't already, go out and get yourself a Java for Dummies book or something like that. So in that way, your understanding of what we're covering is much greater and it's a little bit more intuitive for you. Um, some of the things that I want to go over um, in Season 2, like I said, is going to be a bit more advanced. I want to get into event handlers. I want to get into more world customization. I want to do some multi-block structures. Um, so yeah, season two. Um, it's I'm not going to label each episode. Really, it's just going to be episode one, episode two, episode three. Um, follow along as you will. I'll try to keep the descriptions as updated as possible, so that way you kind of have an idea on what we're doing. Um, so to get started, what we want to do is we want to go to uh, files.minecraftforge.net. We want to get the 1710 recommended, which is the 1180, right here. Um, I've already gone ahead and downloaded that, and I put it into a new fresh folder. And I'll tell you, there is nothing quite like a fresh installation of Forge. It's liberating. Um, so we're going to go through the usual, right? We're going to... Um, I'm in a library. It's not going to let me do this, is it? I don't think it will. Nope. So, come here. Um, Neil Gaming, where we just were. And let's go ahead and we're going to do our Gradle W setup decomp workspace. I've done this quite a bit, so it shouldn't take very long <coughs> for this to run through and do its thing. Um, what we're going to start out with today is we're going to get the, 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 you know, the main modding file set up. Um, I'm going to spend more time on textures this time around, so then that way textures are a bit easier to understand on how to make them work properly, because I know that a lot of folks had problems with textures, getting those to show up. So we'll kind of talk about the do's and don'ts of textures. And, um, yeah. So we'll start out with some blocks, we're going to start out with some items, we're going to, of course, first start off with our creative tab. Um, I also want to make a couple of different creative tabs, because um, we didn't do that in the past, we only had just the one, so I want to start out with two, and um, we'll go from there. Um, we're going to set it up for Eclipse now. Now, Eclipse isn't the only integrated development environment out there, there's also IDEA by IntelliJ. <coughs> um, I know that um, some of you out there, Mr. Grim Reaper, prefer to use IDEA instead of Eclipse, which is totally cool. Um, if you decide that you want to use that one, you just do Gradle W IDEA. And it's going to give you an IPR file here in the uh, kind of the root directory of where your mod is at like so. You'll see it appear there. You can double click that and it will open up IntelliJ. <coughs> and you can kind of go from there. Right, so it's going to show um, of course your source folder and all of that, Java, and then the example mod that comes with this automatically. Um, I'm going to stick with Eclipse because that's really what the masses use. I myself, I prefer IDEA over Eclipse but it's really just a personal preference thing. Um, yeah, so we've got all of that set up. Let's go ahead and close this. 
we're going to open up Eclipse, and I already have mine in here, so I don't need to point anywhere else. And let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink all this stuff down just because there's a lot to look at. I don't really want to look at it. And I'm going to delete their example mod that they kind of package, prepackage with that. So let's do a new package. Um, Net Neil Gaming. I'm moving away from the Neil Craft. We'll name this mod. And then in here we're going to go ahead and actually create our main modding class, which we will just label main. So main.class. First thing we need to do is we need to establish this as a mod. So we are going to say that the mod, like so, the mod ID is going to equal main.mod ID. Our version is going to equal main.version. And our name is going to equal uh, main dot mod name like so. Let's go ahead and import mod. And each of these are essentially referencing a variable that we had have within our main modding class. So let's go ahead and get those um, declared and initialized here. So what is our mod ID going to be? It's going to be Neil Gaming, still can't spell, um, and we'll actually just copy and paste this like so, and we will make a version, we will make a mod name, and the mod name we're actually going to uh, have this be case, so in that way we'll actually have um, our uppercase, our proper name for it here. Sweet. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of um, methods here. We're going to have public void uh, pre init, and this is going to be our FML pre initialization event. We'll take the Z out, we don't need that. And we're going to call this pre event. And let's just go ahead and actually copy and paste those in here. We'll indent them so that way they look like we want them to. And we will name this first one init, and then this one post init. Like so. This one is going to be, we'll take out the pre there, and we'll change pre to post here. And we'll do control shift out to get those imported. Now, in front of each of these things, um, we're going to need an event handler. So we will just copy and paste that. And we'll put that in there like so. Control Shift O to get that imported. There we have it. Awesome. So let's get our two um, uh, what am I calling them? Creative tabs. So we're going to say public static creative tabs. And the first one is going to be tab Neil Gaming. And this is going to equal a new creative tabs. And we are going to call this Neil Gaming, like so. Let's do our import. And since this is a method, we need that right there. And we're going to say at side only side dot client. And we're going to say public item get tab icon item. And we are going to return item dot get item from block because we want our um, the item that we want is actually going to be a block and not an item so we'll have an anvil there 
and we need to import item. There's something about it that it doesn't like. And that is the fact I'm probably spelling public wrong. Now let's do our imports. Item. Like so. Now we're actually going to copy and paste this. <coughs> and what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll change um, we'll change these icons to something out of our own mod once we get them built. So the new one we're actually going to call materials. And then we'll name this Neil Gaming Materials. And this one we will do blocks dot. Um, let's do an enchanting table. Like so. Sweet. Let's run it. Let's see what we've got. Appearing. Let's see if our creative tabs show up. It should, if I have half an idea of what I'm doing. Maybe a little bit too loud. Um, yeah, we'll just do New World. So we're going to have to come back and create a new one once we start spawning in ores and stuff. And we're going to get rid of our music here. Like so. And we're also going to invert the mouse because that's the way that I like it. Sweet. Um, so we have our new tabs here, item groups. Hmm. We're going to need to tune that up. We can't have that space there, I don't think. So let's actually come back here and do this. Uh, we'll save that. Now what we want to do is under this resources folder, we're going to create a new package. And this is actually going to be uh, net.nealgaming.lang. And remember that we need to keep these essentially the same as what we have up here, and they need to be lowercase. We're going to do an untitled text file, and we are going to name this um, We're going to save this as, and we're going to point to our source folder, resources, net, new gaming, lang. And we're going to name this en underscore us dot lang like so and so we will say item group dot uh, what do we have this first one Neil gaming is going to equal Neil gaming and then the second one item group dot Neil gaming materials is going to equal Neil gaming materials. Let's save that and run it and make sure that we got everything where we want it here. Do do. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? Did I not name them right? New gaming, new gaming materials. Hmm. Hmm. I have a staging one. Oh, you know what I did? Oh my gosh. And I'm talking about how it needs to be correct. Um, let's change this from net to assets, like so. Now let's run it and try it. Remember, all lowercase on that assets, assets.neilgaming.lang. There we go. So we've got those appearing all correctly. They show up nicely right there all right so we have our two Ugh. get resituated here we have our two um, tabs what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to go through 
we're going to create some blocks with metadata and then we're going to get some items in here and I'm going to be using a lot of the textures that we had from last time around simply to save time so uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop now and then we'll come right back and we'll start on blocks and items thanks everybody